Welcome, I'm the Werner, and in this video, we're going to be verse mapping Psalms 91, 1 through 4. This is a really encouraging psalm, so that's why I wanted to verse map it. Normally, this is where I teach you how to study the Bible and teach you how to think biblically on certain subjects. So, yeah, let's just jump in. Let's dig deeper. So, the first thing that we're going to do is read Psalms 91. Remembering that Psalms is a book of poetry. Keep that in mind for when we interpret. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say unto the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust his truth shall be thy shield and buckler buckler <laughs> so yeah that's psalms 91 1 through 4 so let's dig deeper and do some verse mapping there is a free cheat sheet on how to verse map link will be in the description um it's a free downloadable pdf if you don't have that already definitely check that out and check out my how-to videos if you've never verse mapped before basically we are just going to be digging deeper into this and the easiest way to do that is to define words i'm going to be using this sheet of paper with dot grid underneath to hopefully keep my letters and words straight and this pack of pins that i have so yeah let's just jump into this so the first word that we're going to define is dwelleth and dwelleth means to live as a residence a lot of people ask me what words i choose to define and honestly it's whatever i feel that I need to go deeper in some words like the, I don't feel, I don't feel the need. So, but you can define all or certain ones, whatever you want. The next thing we're going to define a secret, something kept hidden or unexplained mystery, something kept from the knowledge of the others or shared only confidently with a few. And then you're going to see me box in secret place so if i circle something that means i'm defining it and whatever is attached to it is a definition if i box something in that's something separate so i box this in because in the hebrew this is one word secret place and so this means a covering or protection or a hidden place so that's kind of what i'm gathering from that text the next word we're going to uh, define is abide to remain stable or fixed in a state to continue in a, a place the next word is shadow an inseparable companion of follower persuasive and dominant influence so if we dwell if we live in god's spirit we shall remain stable and fixed in him and under his shadow which is we will be his companion inseparable so verse two what we're going to do is box in lord and we're going to give that means so if you see in the old testament lord as all capitals that means that is actually jehovah which is i am which is a um, it comes from the word be which means existing one the next word that we're going to define is refuge, and that is a shelter or protection from danger or distress, a place that provides shelter or protection, something to which one has resource and difficulty. Um, the next word we're going to define is fortress. A fortress is a fortified place, a stronghold, and fortified means made stronger or more secure. Um, the next is God. What does God mean? God just means the supreme being. And the net last for verse two will be trust. Trust is assured reliance on the character, ability, strength, or truth of someone or something. So if God is your refuge and God is your fortress, it, he makes you stronger and he's your protection no matter what is happening because you trust his character, his ability, his strength, his promises in your life. Um, we have to remember that faith is complete trust in God. And he is our refuge he is our fortress no matter what happens in this life it can be rough but god is always there always going to supply our need and 
be there for us because he's not just a God that watches our suffering. He suffer, suffers with us. Verse 3, surely he shall deliver. So deliver is to set free or save. Um, the next word we're going to define is snare. Snare is something by which one is entangled, involved in difficulties, or impeded. Um, a fowler is just a person who hunts. And noisome, I think I'm saying that right, I might not be, but, um, is physically harmful or destructive to living beings, constructing a harmful, harmful influence on the mind or behavior and pestilence is something that is destructive or pernicious. So, um, he's going to set us free. He's going to save us from something um, that the devil, which is a fowler who hunts us, um, is going to try to get us to be either physically destructive or maybe in our minds like fear or bringing up our past sins or whatever the case may be. He's going to be our deliverer and he is our savior from all of that in this life. We must trust him um, to help us to get away and overcome the devil. Um, so verse 4, um, the word we're going to define first is cover is to guard from attack so he shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust so feathers and wings um basically birds use feathers and wings number one for protection and also for flight um so he's going to protect us and also give us a way of escape from temptation and the devil and the snares that the devil is going to try to set for us we already defined trust, so I just circled that with the same color that I used the first time, um, just so I would know that it is defined up there and I don't have to define it again. The next word we're going to define is truth. It's the body of real things, events, and facts, actuality, and reality. Um, so, his truth his truth shall be thy shield and buckler so shield is something that serves as a protective cover or barrier one that defends or protects and buckler is a personal shield friends if we really trust god to do what he says he will do and make sure we're in his truth not the truth that we want reality to be but in his truth the truth okay truth by definition is exclusive he is our shield he is our protector he defends us he's not just our shield as in a whole body but he's your personal shield he is a personal god loving you with all his might through sending his son we have the evidence of his love and yeah, I hope you are inspired and encouraged to dig deeper into God's word. I love verse mapping Psalms. It's so fun and encouraging. Um, when you are down or if you're going through a trial, look up a Psalm because something in there is for you. I hope you uh, are encouraged and remember God loves you and he's always with you. I'll see you in the next one. God bless.